today we're going to study addition of similar and dissimilar fractions. Let's start with similar fractions. When you say similar fractions, their denominators are the same. So we have 8 over 10 plus 9 over 10 is equal to blank. Since their denominators are the same, we can simply copy 10. Then let's add the numerator. 8 plus 9 is equal to? That's correct, it's 17. So we have 17 of 10. We can write it in lowest terms. So we will have 1 and 7 10. How about if we have this? 4 26 plus 15 26. We have 25 as a denominator, so we will copy 25, then add the numerator. 4 plus 15 is equal to 90, so we have 90 over 25. How about if we have dissimilar fractions? When you say dissimilar fractions, their denominator is not the same. So we have here 7 over 8 plus 2 over 9. When able to solve this, we're going to use the butterfly method. First, multiply 9 and 7. 9 times 7 is equal to? That's correct, it's 63. Then, 8 times 2 is equal to? Very good, it's 16. After that, let's add 63 and 16. So we have 79. Then let's multiply the denominator. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. So we have 79 over 72. Let's write it in lowest term. We will have 1 and 7 over 72. How about if we have this? 3 over 9 plus 4 over 6 is equal to blank. Again, children, let's use the butterfly method. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Then, 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Let's add 18 and 36. We have 54. Then, let's multiply the denominator. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. So, let's change it in lowest term. 54 over 54 is equal to 1. Let's have the next number. 3 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 6 eighths. Since we have mixed number here, let's add first the whole number. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Then, let's use the butterfly method. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Then 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Let's add 16 plus 30 is equal to... Very good! That's 46. Then let's multiply the denominator. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. So we have 7 and 46 over 40. Let's write it in lowest term. We have... 8 and 3 over 20. 